In today's video, we're going to take a look at the Radioscan 701A personal Geiger counter. The Radioscan 701A is a Russian personal Geiger counter that measures alpha, beta, and gamma radiation. Uh, I've had my unit for about a week now. Um, I've been able to thoroughly test it, and uh, these are my opinions and a uh, quick review of the unit itself. So it comes in this white box and uh, inside you get a power adapter, DC uh, ASC power supply, USB cable, uh, which is mini USB. You get a set of AAA batteries and you also receive a warranty card and a really nice and thick, well-worded English manual that covers everything. Now you could get away without using the manual, but for sort of the in-depth features, uh, the manual is quite handy. You can also download a PDF from the website. So, onto the unit itself. It comes in this nice little belt case, and you've got little clips on the back, so you can put it onto a molly if you want to as well. And as you can see, it's uh, they do stay on pretty tight. So, molly, little molly clips are quite handy. Unit itself, good plastic. Um, reasonably thick plastic, um, you know, comparing it to the, the Therapy, for instance, uh, very, very similar weight. On the back, we have an Alpha Beta Shield, and you can see just a little bit of lead in there for the blocking the Alpha and Beta. And then there's your pancake probe under the window there. And the pancake probe sits about, appears to be about 10 millimeters beneath the grill. So obviously you're not going to be able to get a, you know, right up close to this, but uh, you know, these are very pretty sensitive. The alpha probe uh, part of it is very, very sensitive and I've been getting really good readings with it. Battery compartment at the bottom for your AAA batteries. And then on the front, we've got a combined on off switch. We have a menu button. We have a couple of directional keys and they also do a couple of extra features like uh, turn off the uh, sound and also they can show you your clock and date as well. And on the very top, we have the connection for connecting to your computer, and that also serves as a recharge point if you want to use rechargeable batteries. So hold the on button for a couple of seconds, and that switches the unit on, and you'll see the display has come on, and it has a nice OLED display. Uh, in the instruction booklet, it does say to keep the OLED display below 20. Uh, percent and that is just to uh, keep the life of the unit and to keep the life of the screen with the unit at 20 percent um, I believe the manufacturer says you'll get about 16,000 hours out of the display which you know for the amount of time you're going to be using this that's more than enough there is also a power safe feature where the screen will turn off and you know the unit will continue to run but the screen will be off which is really handy so you can see there it for a few seconds it ran uh, just a back quick background check and it brings you up the background radiation radiation level now obviously uh, I have a couple of check sources in here well quite a few check sources so my radiation level is always going to be slightly higher and also with uh, combined alpha beta gamma probe you will always get slightly higher background readings anyway because of the sensitivity so you can see at the moment we're in gamma mode and you can see there the uh, bar at the bottom and now that will go up as uh, it detects more radiation so at the moment we're in a normal level and then you can see a measuring of microsieverts and we have a plus and minus 25 percent accuracy so if i want to go into the menu i press the menu button once and then i can go into the different features so at the moment we're in gamma we can switch to search mode and search mode essentially means that uh, instead it, it just makes it a lot quicker to detect uh, sources so instead of uh, the the meter just going up gradually as you move it about you will get a, a more precise response to the radiation level uh, next we have uh, food detection mode so if you want to detect contamination in food you can turn it into that mode and then it will run a series of checks over food then we have beta flux density and then we have alpha flux density and again, very, very similar to the food mode. It'll just detect the flux density of alpha and beta radiation. Information, quite self-explanatory, just covers the, the firmware of the unit. 
options menu is your settings so in there you can change all the settings you need to and log then is your actual accumulated log so you can go in there and see uh, all the radi different radiation levels that the unit has detected since it's been on so we'll go back into the gamma mode and you can see there that we have gamma this is the dose rate and if we put the button down that is accumulated dose since the unit was first turned on so we're on 475 microsieverts since the unit was first turned on. So you can see Evan putting it through its paces. We have a button there that turns the sound on and off. And then the top, that changes between time and date. I really, really like this unit. Uh, it's very, very sensitive. It does everything I need it to. Uh, I'm very, very impressed with the logging software for your computer. Uh, comparing it to another unit I have that does logging software it would be the GQGMC 500. The logging software for this is so much better. You have full control over the device. You can change between all the settings. You can turn the unit on and off. You can turn the sound on, on and off. You can do everything you want to. With the GQGMC, yes, you can change some basic settings. But really, other than that, there's not much else you can do with it uh, other than the logging software. Um, I do like with the GQ that you can upload to an external website uh, with your readings. Uh, it would be nice if this was featured on this unit. But, you know, you have to take some good things with the GQ and take good things with this. This definitely beats the GQ GMC. So we're going to take a quick jump cut and then we're going to look at this up against some different sources of radiation. Okay, let's do a little bit of a test of some different radioactive sources just to see how the meter uh, copes with them. So we will start off with, let me see, let's start off with a thorium mantle. We'll start low and work way up. So, let's see, obviously thorium doesn't give off any gamma. So let's remove that. They are nice and quick, which is really, really nice. Okay, so we'll call that eight microsieverts. Let's put the these back on. We will do next a little bit of strontium-90. Out of a Russian Geiger counter. Wait for the display to go back. Let's do it with the uh, beta shield on. Okay. And we'll do it again with the Be the shield open this time. See if I can hit 900. There we go. Okay, it's quite nice, working well. And that's giving me similar readings to what I was getting, you know, from the thermometer and from the therapy, so it's quite nice. Right, let's try the. Uh, <laughs> The mother load. So it is the display from the DP63A, hence the gloves. So I've double bagged it just to keep it a little bit safer. Okay, so there it is. So let's try it with beta shield on. So, oh, apologies. I had the supposed beta shield the wrong way around. So this would be a more realistic gamma. There you go, there's the gamma. And obviously all the betas, the alpha is going to be blocked now, so. Mm. 
Now, if I was to take this out of the bag, I would get upwards of nine millisievert, but I do not want to take it out of the bag. Uh, I have seen too many meters get contaminated and I don't want that to happen with this meter. Um, it's too nice a meter and yeah, I don't want to damage it. So I think that's a pretty good test of it. Uh, that's some weak sources, some reasonably high middle ground, middle ground sources and some very high sources and it copes no problem at all. Nice and quick. Uh, yeah, I can't, uh, this, I can't commend this highly enough. It's really, really nice meter. Um, listen, as always, thank you very, very much for watching and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.